All right guys, today's the day. I'm graduating from Naturally Aspirated. Got all my parts here, the BDS blower and top hat. We're switching over to the Holly Dominator and new Holly injectors. And I even have my blower tie downs so I don't send uh, this thing to the moon like Zach did. I broke it. You good? burnout truck and the engine that's in it is a Texas Speed 408 that I've just been running naturally aspirated since I've had this engine and it's done really really well actually but I'm super excited to take this thing to the next level and I think after today we're gonna be able to call it a real burnout truck and we get to play with the big dogs now and we're getting all of this done just in time for our next burnout wars event which is next weekend which we leave with the trucks to head out to Pennsylvania in four days so as usual a little bit last minute but that's okay We're gonna have to do more than a little trimming. So we got the cowl off, and Zach's gonna basically cut from here to here where the back of the blower touches this. Oh, Custom with a K. Back home for do that one. Well, it almost fits. She just like, it's much more. Oh my God, professional. I am professional self tapper <laughs> So this is Zach's fault, 100%, but this is on backwards, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're gonna try it that way. All right, we got it on right this time, hopefully. We're ready for the blower. All right, go get it, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't even have to cut that much. We could pull it. That's all right. Zach? That's for when you put the 1071. Yeah, there we go. So, we realize we're definitely gonna have to use this spacer. Thankfully, Zach has an extra one. So, we got this. What is that, four inch? Yeah, so we gotta run the spacer because the injectors come out here at an angle and it runs at the top hat. So, so we'll powder coat this black, but we're just gonna test it for now. All right, so I got this from Joe Blow out of Australia for my Apollo. So you're gonna have to call and order me another one if this will work. I don't know if it'll work with this top hat. Okay. Let's pull the spacer off and the injector deal. Okay. Sorry, right now. Check that. Like nope, won't work. Mm -hmm. Alright, putting injectors in now. Lubing the injectors up. And they're going in. Okay. 
All right, so the standoffs for these are made for different injectors than we have. So we're just gonna machine these down. By machine, I mean cut them off with a cutoff wheel. <laughs> and then it'll work. Welcome back. A couple days have passed since we left off. Me and George had to go to an event. While we were gone, Zach and JC made new fuel lines. So we also realized, as you can see, this top hat is not gonna work because it's hitting the fuel rails on both sides. So I didn't want to spend the money on the big top hat, but we're kind of forced to at this point. I had to borrow Zach's from the Impala build and buy him a new one. This thing's gonna look even more gangster than we originally thought. We're gonna be twins, Zach. Twinsies. Twinsies. We have um, Brian Cerakoted. Yeah, Brian Cerakoted in black. So it matches everything. And if I have time, I'm gonna end up wrapping the red little flappers pink to match. So it's gonna be cute. So luckily this is the same setup that's on the 58. So we mimicked my throttle cable bracket here. We overnighted the throttle position sensor that works with this. And now we just gotta put it on and make it work. So I'll take this one off. And you put that one on. gonna look even cooler than what we originally thought the other top hat was was cool but I mean you, you gotta love yeah you can't be the big and ugly it's like obnoxious big and ugly. Yeah. new throttle position sensor goes here I ran to summit and got longer turnbuckles so we can get this set right JC's modified this to work with the throttle cable so we're gonna hook the throttle cable up hook the throttle position sensor up put the adapter for the pulley on the crank and this thing should be ready to fire up. You excited? So excited. So this needs to be three inches. Summit only had one that's like five and three sixteenths. So I'm gonna cut it down, retap this, put the turnbuckles back in it, and make it work. So since we put that top hat on, realized I needed a bunch of other stuff. So overnighted it, the airplane got stuck in Nashville, the parts didn't show up. So now we had to run to Summit, buy some to make it work. Because we have to load everything up tonight. Yes. So just giving you guys like the realness of what actually goes on. We're rigging some stuff. No, we're doing fine machine work. <laughs> this is a machine. <laughs> to run like that or would you rather run like that? You see it's leaking? Yeah. It's on a terminator. It just makes it easier. So this is the adapter pulley that allows you to bolt the lower pulley to the uh, ATI damper. She's still running a full accessory setup, so you can't run just the stub, the hub that goes on the crank. She has to run the damper, or we would turn these pulleys all around the other way and suck it in tight. But with the front setup, you can't do it. So you order this from Hockey Digger, bolt that on, then your pulley bolts to that, and you're good to go. We got the pulleys on, now we're gonna put the belt on, and we're just about ready to fire this thing up. Uh, we might not be firing this thing up because my measurements were off. Uh, you need to call BDS right now and have them overnight a bit. So we got two options. We can either A, take off that two inch spacer, drop this all down two inches, and it'll work, or overnight a belt. We don't have studs for the blower. The belt is the only option? We either have to overnight studs or we have to overnight a belt. 25 and a quarter. I have a 1696-8M. You have a 1696 and it's too short? Yeah. Oh, you can almost get this belt on. Okay, so the next 
belt. So your belt right now is 66.7. Uh-huh. The next belt goes 69.3. Let me try something real quick and see if I can run two 53 pulleys and see if it'll work. Uh, what does 106 count give me? Probably right now, 12. Oh, that'd be fine. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, we're good. We don't need a belt. Awesome. Okay, awesome. thank you, sir. Did your adapter, make sure the adapter going out today. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So we got everything together. We actually ended up going with a 53 top, 53 bottom pulley, so this thing will make probably 12 pounds of boost instead of eight. I try to start you off a little slower. <laughs> but we were waiting on the plugs for this top hat because they didn't come with it and no one in town had them. Some didn't have enough of them, so we had to use the old trusty dusty Amazon overnight. So with the new setup, I'm switching over from the Holly Terminator X to the Holly Dominator. So the Terminator is what I've been running, which is great for your everyday drivers, your street cars, stuff like that. But they make it super easy to upgrade to the Dominator if you want to take your build to the next level. And if it just keeps snowballing like mine has. It's a really easy upgrade because basically you unplug this one and plug this one in. There's quite a few differences between the Terminator X and the Dominator. The first one being, you can see the obvious size difference, and this one is a lot heavier. So the casing on this one is plastic, this one is a little bit more durable to all of the elements with the aluminum casing. So this has 50 inputs and 36 outputs where this one only has four. So that's why this is essential for everything we're gonna be doing, especially since we're switching over to methanol and running a lot more injectors. The Dominator also supports internal and external data logging. So basically you just plug your computer right in, it's gonna show you everything you need. Whereas this one, you have to take the chip out, put it in your computer. This just makes it a lot faster and a lot more user friendly. When you're running high horsepower, you're gonna to wanna to run the Dominator so you can run dual O2 sensors so your tuner can read both sides of the engines and make sure you get a good tune up in this. And also if you're going from a street car to a race car, the Dominator does support drive shaft speed sensors which allows you to have trash control because all the no prep guys are running trash control these days. So that's another upgrade with the Dominator from the Terminator. And a couple other things this thing will do, it also runs low impedance injector drivers and you'll have dual drive by wire throttle bodies. A lot more options with the Dominator compared to the Terminator. Last piece to the puzzle and we'll be ready to start it up. All right, so these little guys are to fill in the holes in the top hat because these are made for mechanical injection. But since we've got the EFI and everything, we just have to plug these bad boys. All right guys, so mine has a different ignition system than this thing has, so that's why I wasn't firing the coils. We had to make another summit run today because my dumbass forgot when you switch to a dominator you can't run the o2 sensor that came with the terminator so this is an ntk sensor from holly so we'll switch this out change it in the tune and it'll actually run correctly the thing's acting like it's had a bad vacuum leak so we're going to pull this apart and make sure we didn't forget a seal under one of these 17 different things here got one there and no gotty one we got it right here be careful the exhaust is hot well now that it's not sucking air this thing ought to run right it's not like we're leaving in 12 hours or nothing here yeah you know the two opposite corners from each other two 